Today, we'll explore the foundational process in data management, that is data integration and its techniques. What is it and why do we need it? Data integration is the critical process of combining data from different sources into a unified view. This process aims always to turn raw data into actionable insights. But how is the data integrated? What are its techniques? Within the domain of data integration, two primary techniques stand out in managing how data is consolidated and prepared for use. They are ETL and ELT. Let's understand their differences, figure out when to use each, explore the supporting technologies, and decide which one might better fit your needs. First things first, ETL is an acronym for Extract Transform Load, while ELT stands for Extract Load Transform. Both are similar, but the key difference is the timing of the transformation step. Does it happen before the load or after the load? To make these concepts more relatable, imagine making a cup of tea where the cup represents the data warehouse. In the ETL process, you prepare your tea by gathering leaves, sugar and water, then boiling. That means transforming these ingredients and finally pouring it into your cup. In ELT, you place an instant tea bag in your cup and the transformation occurs as you stir. In the data world, ETL precisely prepares the data before it reaches the warehouse. While ELT swiftly loads and then processes the data within the warehouse itself. Take the retail industry for example. Using the ETL method, Data from point of sale systems is first refined. This means it's transformed to meet specific standards and then loaded into a central data warehouse ready for in-depth analysis and reporting. On the other hand, ELT streamlines this process. Sales and inventory data flow directly from the checkout to the data warehouse without preliminary alterations. It's in the warehouse that this data is transformed, standardized, and fine-tuned. How is the transformation done in both the worlds and what are the supporting tools? In ETL, the extracted data is first refined in a staging area where it is cleansed and enhanced with business rules to meet specific needs of your data warehouse. Tools like Microsoft SSIS, Informatica, and Talent facilitate this. These tools offer user-friendly interfaces with drag-and-drop capabilities and diverse data connectors streamlining complex transformations. In contrast, ELT bypasses the staging area entirely. Extracted data flows directly into the warehouse and is transformed there. Why skip the staging area? It's all about efficiency and speed. By loading data directly into the data warehouse, ELT takes advantage of the warehouse's robust computing power to transform the data on the spot. Tools such as Google BigQuery, Amazon Redshift, and Snowflake allow complex transformations on large data sets where they reside making it possible to manage and analyze data at scale with agility. When to use each? ETL is your choice for recipes that need more prepping. Where data quality and complex transformations are crucial and where data handling and processing need to be tightly controlled for compliance. There, ETL is your choice. ELT is for a quick hearty stew Perfect for big data and real-time analytics, especially with cloud-native data warehouses and when the data structure can vary over time. So, which one is better? It's like asking whether a blender is better or a slow cooker. They each have their purpose based on what you are preparing. Let's see different considerations for deciding which is better. 
First one, specific business needs. For instance, if your analytics require immediate up to the minute data, ELT systems excel by leveraging the power of modern data warehouses for real time insights. On the other hand, if your reporting is periodic and needs deeply processed information, ETL is your go-to, allowing for intricate transformations prior to loading. Data complexity. Consider ETL when dealing with highly complex data that needs extensive transformation, such as combining multiple data sources with different formats, ensuring a refined report-ready data set. ELT can streamline the process for simpler or less structured data by transforming data as needed within the storage environment. System architecture. If you are working with a robust, scalable cloud data warehouse architecture, ELT can fully utilize its processing capabilities. Conversely, ETL may be more suitable for traditional databases or where data warehousing is not built to handle intensive in-database transformations. Cost and resources. ETL often requires more upfront investment in data transformation logic and infrastructure, which can be justified for complex long-term data strategies. ELT can be more cost-effective, especially with cloud-based solutions where compute resources are scalable and can grow with your data needs. Let's get to final thoughts as we wrap up. Although ELT introduces additional complexity, the benefits like handling real-time data processing often outweigh the downsides. While there is a noticeable shift towards ELT, because it works well with cloud technology, and can handle big data fast, it is important to recognize that ETL is not obsolete. It continues to be the trusted method where control and data quality are crucial. Both remain effective with many companies succeeding with either architecture depending on their data strategy and needs. It's about selecting the right tool for the right job. With that, we conclude our journey into the world of data integration through the lens of ETL and ELT. If you enjoyed the journey, subscribe, comment with your questions, thoughts, and stay tuned for more data insights.